When you consider that the lifting and cutting of solid rocks 5,000 years ago is claimed to have been done by just pure brute strength from hundreds of men to be true, then you are completely misled into a world of blatant lies or ignorance. For some reason, the so-called clever Egyptologists and archaeologists of the world are completely obliviously lying out their back teeth when they tell us that a thousand ton piece of stone at Aswan in Egypt was dragged for 400 miles to Giza. It's crazy and it's clearly not true. But what type of technology could have been used to transport these types of mega stones? This is something that we have pondered over for years. And though we may never arrive at the truth within our lifetimes, we can at least consider that a type of high technology was used to transport these mega stones. This brings us to Miami in Florida. Throughout history, no one has really had any logical explanation of how the pyramids were built other than it was done by thousands of slaves over a 20 year period 5,000 years ago. That is utter nonsense. One man knew these secrets. His name was Edward Lee Scallon. And though he could be easily dismissed as being some madman with a claim for a brief piece of fame, it is simply not the case and we are going to tell you why. Just wait till you hear this. On February 27th, 1923, the Homestead Enterprise newspaper published a notice that E. Leedscalen of California has purchased an acre of the R. L. Moser Homestead and is planning to erect a home soon. Working alone and mostly at night, Leedscalen eventually quarried and sculpted over 1,100 short tons of olite limestone into architectural and engineering landmark that would later be known as the Coral Castle. Lead Scalen devised a means to single-handedly lift and maneuver blocks of coral weighing up to 30 tons each. What's that all about? The evidence for Coral Castle is on show for all of us to see. It is a stunning feat even if it is amateurish compared to the pyramids or the Colossi. It is simply spectacular, especially at night. How did he do it? No one knows exactly how he did it, but he claimed to know the secrets of transporting and elevating more weights than is humanly possible for one man. He was able to quarry and construct an entire complex of monolithic blocks of coral in an arrangement that reflected his own unique character. He labored for 28 years to complete the work, which consisted of a total of 1,100 tons of rock. What was Lead Scalen's secret? Is it possible for a five foot tall, 110 pound man to accomplish such a feat without knowing techniques that are uncommon to our contemporary understanding of physics and mechanics? Lead Scalen was a student of the universe. Within his castle walls, built of coral blocks weighing approximately 15 tons each, he had a 22 ton obelisk, a 22 ton moon block, a 23-ton Jupiter block, a Saturn block, a 9-ton gate, a rocking chair that weighed 3 tons, and numerous puzzles. A huge 30-ton block, which he considered to be his major achievement, he crowned with a gable-shaped rock. These personal accomplishments have astounded and surprised many engineers and technologists who compare them with those achieved by workers handling similar weights in industry today. For his miracles of construction engineering, Lead Scalen received attention not only from engineers and technologists, but from the US government, who paid him a visit hoping to be enlightened. Lead Scalen received them gracefully, and they left none the wiser. When questioned about how he moved the blocks of coral, Ed would only reply that he understood the laws of weight and leverage well. On the ground level of the building where Lead Scalen resided, sometimes called the tower, he constructed a room to house his tools. Within this room, there is a mysterious flywheel which is constructed of concrete and magnets with a cloverleaf shape 
at the center. When holding a compass next to the wheel as it rotates, the compass also spins, indicating each U-shaped magnet was set opposite in polarity. Next to the wheel, there is a metal pole which enters the ground. There are many clues in the layout of Coral Castle itself, which indicate there must have been a celestial importance. The position of the Earth within the solar system almost seemed essential to lead scaling. The Polaris telescope, which is said to be 25 feet in height and weighing 20 tons, can be used to determine the location of the Earth in its orbit according to the position of the Polaris star within crosshairs. In order to observe Polaris, you would have to peer through a hole which is drilled through a block at about eye level. When looking through the hole, it aligns with a large hole at the top of a 25-foot block of limestone. The amount of the effort put into this elaborate device should indicate its importance. There are a couple of credible accounts of adults witnessing strange occurrences as Ed worked. The man whom Ed hired to move the stones with his truck stated that he had forgotten his lunchbox one morning and went back to the castle to get it. He had only been gone for half an hour and when he arrived, Ed already had several of the monolithic stones stacked on the rails of the trailer like cordwood. He never saw how Ed loaded them, just that Ed had no heavy machinery that should have been necessary to manipulate such heavy stones. Researchers have speculated that Ed learned the secret of levitation and one theory in particular caught the imagination of many. The planetary grid hypothesis postulates that the Earth is covered by an invisible web of energy which is concentrated at points of telluric power, the convergences of which create unusual phenomena. These telluric grid dynamics played a vital role in the construction of the castle. There exists an all-encompassing global grid with direct harmonic relationship to the speed of light, gravity, magnetics, and earth mass. All major changes of the physical state are brought about by harmonic interactions of these manifestations. The controlled manipulation of these forces would make it possible to instantaneously move mass from one point to another in space-time. He understood the critical nature of identifying the most energetic location to erect his massive castle and seemed to have known the secrets of anti-gravity and its relation to cosmic events. Ed proceeded to develop a means of leverage power generated from the geomagnetic grid and produced a system to generate anti-gravity waves. Ed Leedscalen knew exactly what he was doing when he created his fantastic castle. In 1951, Ed took his secrets to the grave. The mystery of Coral Castle was never revealed. Rumor persists that a plaque was found in Ed's bedroom that read, The secret to the universe is 7129-6105 195, a sequence of prime meridian numbers. We know this sounds crazy guys, but it might be crazy enough to be true. What do you guys think of the secrets in the construction of Coral Castle? Comments below. Thanks for watching. With no modern machinery and with no help, he somehow hand carved and lifted every single block, a total of three million pounds. Trying to catch him at work, the neighbors took to spying. Some people swear they saw the rocks move. Ed could somehow sense their inquiring gaze. He would simply stop working and patiently wait until they gave up trying to discover his secrets. This block weighs nine tons. It's just one piece of rock. See what you can do with one hand? He'd say, he, uh, this is because of the stars and the moon. And he would go on and he would show us his electrical machine. Now he made electricity. 
and he would jump in his bathtub and show how the the water would come to certain levels and how he heated it with the sun and he'd always divert your question as i say a very gentle kind person and he was of course highly intelligent uh, many people thought uh, he was a little cracked because uh, he was smarter i think than they were probably his whole life and whole being was very frugal just sustained himself i think more or less and some nights we'd come in the moonlight and sit and walk around in his park. And he would come out and tell us his story if he had a small audience. And he would go along in a very normal sort of a voice. And then we'd ask him why he did it. And they'd say, oh, well, someday my sweet 16 is coming. And he'd look up in the stars and he would get very ethereal in his voice. And he just uh, loved talking about his sweet 16. And he always spoke of her as sweet 16. She never grew any older. It's kind of nice. We asked the men at a rock quarry to try an experiment, to cut and lift a giant block of oolite. With diamond-tipped power saws, the cutting alone took several hours. The only way to break the block free, brute force. the test. Could they detect any unusual buoyancy in the rock itself? Using a 600 horsepower crane, could they lift the rock? almost tipped over, they managed to drag the block a few yards. What modern equipment would it take to duplicate Coral Castle? It could, couldn't be done. Charles Valois comments. Not with a modern equipment. I wouldn't cut more than four foot long and 32 inches wide and seven or eight foot long. That's the most I'll cut. And you see the struggle I have getting it out with that machine. This is the only known photo of Ed apparently working. Although he seems to be breaking the block free with wedges, a close look reveals that the block is already cut free with a cable underneath. Engineers have been puzzled by this photo. He's moved stones up to uh, coral blocks up to 25 tons. And uh, he'd put them up overnight just on his own after he died. I checked some of the instruments he was using and they're very, very primitive. Chisels and hammers and uh, ropes and pulleys and things. Nobody can understand even today now how he done this. I found when I applied the harmonic mathematical um, basis to his position on the Earth's surface geometrically that the same harmonic values popped up on the area where he was. He always said that he had the secrets of anti-gravity and magnetic fields, and he also said that he knew how they built the pyramids. So it appears if he was telling the truth that it uh, looks like he did have these secrets. They also found $3,800 in crisp $100 bills and what resembled a treasure map. All attempts to follow the directions on the map were futile. Nothing seemed to correspond to our normal three-dimensional geometry.